Perkins, psycho. Hmm. Corn syrup. Same stuff they use for pig's blood and carry. <laughs> Surprise, Sydney. What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Why are you doing this? It's all part of the game, Sydney. It's called Guess How I'm Gonna Die! F you! No, 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 no. We already played that game, remember? You lost. It's a fun game, Sydney. See, we ask you a question, and if you get it wrong, look out! You die. <laughs> you get it right? You die. You're crazy, both of you. Yeah, you prefer the term psychotic. We'll never get away with this. <laughs> I don't know. Tell that to Cotton Weary. I wouldn't believe how easy he was to frame. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> no! Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you kill my mother? Why? Yeah, that's too. I think she wants a motive. <laughs> hmm. I don't really believe in motive, Sid. I mean, did Norman Bates have a motive? No. Did they ever really decide why Hannibal Lecter liked to eat people? Don't think so. You see, it's a lot scarier when there's no motive, Sid. We did your mom a favor, Sid. That woman was a bag flashed her shit all over town like she was Sharon Stone or something. Yeah, it would put her out of her misery. Because let's face it, Sidney, your mother was no Sharon Stone. Hmm? that motive enough for you? Well, how about this? Your mother was my father. And she's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me. How's that for a motive? Eternal abandonment causes serious deviant behavior. It certainly f***ed you up. It made you have sex with a psychopath. That's right. You gave it up. Now you're no longer a virgin. Ah! That virgin. What? Now you gotta die. Those are the rules. The killer, he's here. Where? Right here. <laughs> you're fast, Sid. Give me I wouldn't do that if I were you. You really wanna trust your boyfriend? Don't you know history repeats itself? Hmm. Since Derek here disappeared on my I've been on my own all night. Thanks a lot, partner. You Sid, he's crazy. You know me better than that. Come on, Sid. I gotta have a partner. I couldn't have possibly done this alone. God. Derek. Sid. Oh, no, Sid, Sid. No, 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 no. It's okay, Derek. We got her. Sid, he's lying! Sid! Sid! I'm tiny! Sid, I'm tiny! Hmm. Boyfriend killer, boyfriend killer. Sid! The man is lying! I'm tiny! Sid! I'm tiny! I'm tiny! What do you think, Derek? Sydney experiencing some deja vu? No. No! I am gonna kill you! Kill you! You are dead!
you should really deal with your trust issues, Sid. I mean, poor Derek. He's completely innocent. He's such a nice boy, too. He's bright and funny and handsome, decent singing voice, and he was gonna be a doctor. This was just the kind of boy you'd like to take home to mom if you had a m you. Oh, so vulgar. Did Billy let you talk to him this way? Billy was a sick just like you. No, Billy was a sick who tried to get away with it. Mickey is a sick who wants to get caught. Yeah, see, I've got my whole defense planned out. I'm gonna blame the movies. It's pretty cool, huh? It hasn't been done before. You see, this is just the beginning, a prelude to the trial. That's where the real fun is, because these days, it's all about the trial. Can't you see it? The effects of cinema violence on society. I'll get Dershowitz or Cochran to represent me. Bob Dole on the witness stand in my defense. Hell, the Christian coalition will pay my legal fees. It's air tight, Sid. I'm an innocent victim. What's the matter? What are you staring at? Don't you remember your mother? <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Sydney. It's time you came to terms with me and with mother. Maybe you never knew her at all, Sydney. Maybe you just can't get past the surface of things. Who the hell are you? The other half of you. I searched for a mother, too. An actress named Rena Reynolds. Tried to find her my whole life. And four years ago, I actually dragged her down. Knocked at her door, thinking she'd welcome me with open arms. But she had a new life and a new name. Maureen Prescott. You were the only child she claimed, Sydney. She shut me out in the cold forever. Her own son. Roman Bridger, director. And brother. She slammed the door in my face, Sid. She said I was Rena's child and Rena was dead. And it struck me. What a good idea. So I watched her. I made a little home movie, a little, little family film. It seems Maureen, Mom, she really got around. I mean, cotton was one thing. Everybody knew about that. But Billy's father, that was the key. Your boyfriend didn't like seeing his daddy in my film too much. He didn't like it at all. But once I supplied the motivation, all the kid needed was a few pointers. Have a partner to sell out in case you get caught, find someone to frame. It was like he was making a movie. You. This is all because of you. I'm a director, Sid. I direct. I had no idea that they were going to make a film of their own. What a film it turned out to be, huh? I mean, introducing Sidney the victim. Sydney, the survivor. Sydney, the star! Oh. All right, you're gonna be all right. Just apply pressure. Get this. Get this on the Fine, you got what you wanted. Hero and villain face to face. Well, you know what happens now? The villain dies. Exactly.